So what's up, everybody? Odd Man 105, a.k.a. The Odd One here. And it's out. The brand new Cursed update. It's been out for a couple of days now across all platforms for No Man's Sky. And I wanted to wait a few days before jumping right into this because routinely, whenever Hello Games releases a major update for No Man's Sky, there are always glitches, bugs, and everything else that have to be sorted out. And uh, in this particular case, it's no different. So... There have been several patches released since, and now we're good to go. Now, that being said, anybody out there playing this game on PC, I highly encourage you to make a manual backup copy of your save folder. Just back up the entire save folder. There are reports of some players uh, having their entire save files corrupted as a result of this update. So, uh, just in case something like that happens, make a manual backup of your save. That way you can simply copy and paste your original save uh, back into the folder and you're good to go. Now, if you're on console, there is a way for you to back up your save file. Just a check into it, but I highly recommend that you make a manual backup of your save before beginning the expedition. So, with all that stuff out of the way, let's jump right into this. Okay. And we're going to start a brand new save. I got too many freaking saves. I got to delete some of these. <laughs> but uh, let's start a brand new save. Let's go for the new player experience with this expedition. Um, during the live streams, because I am going to stream this within the two-week period uh, for this expedition, uh, I am going to probably use a, an existing save, which will make it a ton easier. But for this playthrough, let's do a brand new save. Let's get the new player experience. Let's do it. And hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you guys so much for your continued support of what I do here on the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely freaking love this game. All right, let's jump right in and get started. Now, as with any brand new expedition or new save, uh, I like to take some time to farm up many of the early game resources that we're going to need, the base resources. Let's initialize. And that would be carbon, ferrite dust, oxygen, sodium, cobalt, and dihydrogen. Now, I also know that we're going to need uh, a lot of mordite, a silver, and uh, chromatic metal. So we're going to farm up as much of that as possible. Absolutely love the particle effects and graphic effects of this expedition. This is going to be fun. Oh, we got the stupid giant worms playing the saxophones again. That's a nice looking multi-tool. There we go, Expedition 16, The Cursed. And I knew we were going to get some sort of a cursed, uh, spooky, Halloween-themed expedition, and I nailed it. What I did not uh, anticipate that... Uh, we would get an expedition for this uh, update, so. All right. So let's take a really quick look at phase one milestone. So uh, here we have to locate our starship. Uh, we have to prepare the elixir of glass, leave the planet. We got to murk out 16 of these uh, weird ghost squid things. <laughs> So uh, the Boundary Horrors, as they call them, that's easy enough. And we're going to start murking those dudes out first anyway, because we need their materials. Uh, written in blood. Repair the Elixir of Blood. Uh, reveal the portal and reach the network. Okay, easy enough. Let's mark it and get started. Let's take a look. We have 1,000 ammo. First of all, let's put that there, put this here, and let's supercharge that and that. Uh, you know what? Let's supercharge the shield. <laughs> let's do that. All right. Uh, there may be some frame rate stutters because uh, things are still loading in, but ooh, we see you. Don't be looking at me, bro. That's creepy. All right, let's do this. Uh, yep, our scanner is working. Actually, let's take a quick look at the multi-tool as well. 
Oh my god, that is an ugly, I swear. The Corvax have the ugliest freaking starships. First opportunity, we're getting rid of that thing. That thing is ugly. Oh my god. Thanks guys, I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so we have an upgraded bolt caster. Nice. Let's take the B-class upgrade, put that there. Actually, let's put it there. There we go. Scanner here. That's fine where it is. Mining laser is okay. Let's put this. Yeah, okay. All right, let's start scanning everything. Oh, because we want all the drops that we can get. Now, I do know that we're on a bit of a time crunch. Uh, because although we don't have hazard protection, uh, we've got spectral protection, or whatever it's called. And once that reaches 50%, then these stupid squids are going to attack us. Yeah, we can't scan those dies. Okay, no big deal. All right, let's go. Now, what I like to try to do is usually get about a thousand of each base material before proceeding. We can hear you out there. Oh, shut up. And one early milestone that I would like to achieve is in phase two. That's so that we can get our backpack refiner. Okay. Again, let's grab as many early game resources as we can before moving on. But the, uh, the particle effects are absolutely gorgeous. I love what they did with this game. Now, once we come across an abandoned building, I'm totally going to steal all of the uh, larval cores for the nanites. Uh, because I'm going to be purchasing upgrades for sh uh, shields and the pulse spitter. Pulse spitter is going to be a clutch weapon, and we do get a pulse spitter as a reward. Okay, we need to find some carbon. All right, let's get on the move. Starship is. Of course, it's over this freaking mountain. Get that oxygen. Nice. Where is it? Oh, there it is. See if we can grab the, uh... There we go. Grab the pod. Alright, let's keep going. Now, there doesn't appear to be a great deal of carbon on this planet early game. Oh, there we go. Identify that. Okay, starship. Alright, let's get to the ship and we'll start scanning and everything else. Okay, watch out for the farting plants. Did it hear us? Pfft, I don't know.
There we go. Grab that sodium. Ouch. Now, if we come across the cave, we'll hop in and uh, steal everything we possibly can. Okay, Starship is... There we go. So, you guys sound off down in the comments. How have you been uh, enjoying the expedition? You know, you've got uh, some detractors and haters out there, but personally, I like the Halloween theme. I think it's freaking awesome. As we quietly fall down the side of this mountain. Okay, there's the abandoned building. Nice. Let's get to the ship. World's ugliest starship. I swear, I'm selling this thing first chance I get. The Corvax have no taste in ships. Forget the ship. Come inside. Pff, buddy. Uh, let me get some materials first before we do anything else. Since we found the ship... Okay, so we got to go in the shelter, but before we do that, let's grab some more carbon because we're really low. What we need are a couple of really big freaking trees out here. There we go. Condensed carbon. Nice. All right. Out of the way. We know what you seek. Buddy, you have no idea what I seek. <laughs> now, because this is an abandoned building, we're going to steal all the larval cores here for the nanites. That stuff's going to come in clutch later on. Okay. Let's mark our location. Oh, get out of here. All right. Okay, no free stuff. That's fine. Okay. We see you. Stop looking at me, dude. All right, let's do this. Access the terminal. I approach the terminal on autopilot. <clears throat> Almost as if my exosuit remembers being here before. The whole building feels like a place out of time. A fragment of another world. There are marks in the dust that lay thickly on the terminal. The trace of an imprint on its glassy surface. As I lean in to examine it, a voice hisses from within. We swim where the crimson eye cannot see us. We swim where you long to be. The glass calls to you. It always calls to you. Ah, uh, shout. No one will hear you. No one but us. That's pretty freaky. Alright. A sea of glass. Boundaries melting. Nice. Okay, so there we go. We have the first recipe for the first elixir that we need to make. Elixir of glass. And this will replenish our quote-unquote hazard protection. So we need to get some shattered koala. And for that, we got to murk out those uh, flying squid. All right. And there you go. The first milestone complete. Nice. 
Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. All right, let's get the free stuff. I'll totally take that condensed carbon. Uh, get that money. There we go. Okay, we need we need to start murking these things out before doing anything else. So, Bolt caster. And don't feel bad about murking these dudes out because we're getting close to 50%. As a matter of fact, let's take a look here. Yeah, Anomaly Suppressor. We're getting close to 50% on this. Once it gets below 50%, they will attack. So let's murk these dudes out before they attack. Okay, can we make that elixir? Let's take a look. Ah. Uh... We don't want to consume this until we get below 50%, but uh, since we have to make it anyway for the milestone... Alright, there we go. There it goes, the Crimson Fade, 16, 16, 16. Get away from my ship, buddy. Get wrecked. Get the top in. You cannot run from this. You cannot hide in the stars forever. The voice hisses through my starship systems, a static snarl that sends shivers down my spine. I wait. But it does not speak again. Disconnect communicator. I unplugged the Starship's communicator, but it feels futile. These messages are not broadcast on any normal frequency. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, prepare the elixir of glass. Let's mark it. So, what do we need to fix our starship? Everything. Uh, dihydrogen, pure ferrite, uh, hermetic seal, metal plating. Okay. Now, I think we have a repair kit. Yeah, we got a repair kit. We can use that for hermetic seal, <laughs> since we don't have that crafting recipe, I think. All right. No big deal. All right. Looks like they're getting major butt hurt. We got to murk out 16 of these guys anyway, so let's do it. As a matter of fact, that's phase two, so let's take a look. Uh, Execute fossils, storm crystals, prepackaged launch auto charger. There we go. Oh, we got a tunnel underground. Okay. Let's mark it. Uh, we will do that right now. Okay, next. There we go. And basically we have to clear an area equal to 1,600 cubic units. And this is the fastest way to do it. Done. There we go. Too easy. 
Okay, let's grab that. Oh, uh, let's see. As I fat finger the keys, there we go. Okay, prepackaged personal refiner. That is a godsend. We've got glowing minerals and 30 salvage data. Okay, we're going to sell the salvage data because we don't need it. Okay. Plug this in right now. Nice. Uh, analyze. Okay, this is... Herox. Okay, I think we can refine all that to gold. Wait, we're hurting unit for uh, carbon. We need to get some carbon badly. Okay, let's uh, consume one of these. And there we go. Okay, get that reward. Okay, prepackaged advanced mining laser. Yes, please. Prepackaged teleport receiver. Let's get out of this hole. That's what she said. Yeah, this planet absolutely sucks for carbon, but we need to get as much as we can. All right. Now, there's also a milestone that requires us to merc out 64 of these squid, but we need to get as many of those uh, shattered qualia as, as possible. All right. Pure ferrite, dihydrogen. Yeah, we're hurting for materials, so I think we're going to wander around and get some materials. But before we do anything else, we've got that. Uh, the phase two reward. We've got that. And let's see. Okay, next we have to leave the planet, so let's fix our starship. But before we do that, you know what time it is. Oh man, what does this guy want? I have no money if this guy shows up. Seriously? Get out of here, dude. Okay, how are we doing? We're about 50%. No big deal. If they attack, they attack. I'm not too terribly concerned. They will get murked. Ooh, look at that patch of oxygen. We gotta get that. There is a massive patch of oxygen over there. Grab that. Ouch. Where is he? Get wrecked. Now, they don't do much damage, but remember that enemy damage will scale with your, uh, your upgrades, so life support. Here we go. So the more upgrades you have, uh, the more difficult the enemy will be. So that's why it's not a good idea to have a bunch of C-class upgrades in your inventory. There we go. Get all that oxygen. Give me all the oxygen. Nice. Perfect. This is a godsend right here. Look at that. 400 oxygen. And this is perfect for our life support. Nice. Okay. Hydrogen. Sodium. We were once like you, buddy. You were never like me.
Where's my advanced mining laser? Jeez. Only works when you use it. Okay, and that's for the starship. Okay. Now we do need to pure ferrite. You will not find us beyond a portal. Yes, I will. There we go. Pure ferrite sodium. I will take it. Up oh, there, pissed. Get wrecked. I love the explosion effects when you kill these things, man. That is freaking awesome. Get out of here. Here we go. 16 boundary horrors. Nice. Okay. Uh, recharge. Okay, we're out. There we go. Do not be afraid. Join us. There we go. That's a nice big plant. Let's take a really quick look. So we've got 365 ferrite dust. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Let's organize this a little better than that. Let's move the carbon. We got over a thousand oxygen. We're sitting pretty with that. That's good. Dihydrogen. 17 sodium. Okay, we'll move all this other stuff. We'll refine it and move it to the ship. This is a cave. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Please let there be some carbon down here. Perfect. much of a cave, but it'll do. Yeah, we're hurting for uh, carbon right now. It says, go no further, traveler. Buddy, you don't tell me what to do. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to murk out everything in this cave. I'm going to mooch off this cave, get as much cobalt dihydrogen as possible, and uh, we'll continue on from there. So that way you guys don't have to see me uh, literally mine up everything in the cave. So we'll be right back. <laughs> it says Artemis is gone. Are you serious? <laughs> so apparently this is what Artemis had to experience. Wow, love it. Okay, milestone complete. Uh, what milestone was that? Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, so which one was that? <laughs> I 
I have no idea. Okay, so that's in phase two. All right. Okay. No, so for phase two, see, approach the boundary limit. So we had to literally uh, let our boundary protection run out for a certain number of seconds. I wasn't even aware of that, but that's done. I like it. Perfect. Okay, let's keep mining up this place and we'll get out of here. All right. I think that's pretty much everything we can get, so let's take a really quick look. What do we have? I think Operation Mooch the Cave was a complete and total success. Yeah, we got plenty of cobalt. And we got some pure ferrite. Okay, we're sitting pretty good right now. What we're still hurting for is carbon, which sucks. All right. Okay, let's craft. How much dihydrogen did we get? We get 376. Nice. Not bad. Let's craft one of these. Yeah, we've got that supercharged, too. Wow. All right. Technology recharge. Okay. So Operation Mooch the Cave was a complete and total success. We are going to need silver, so let's grab as much of that as we can get to. Okay, Starship is up there. All right. Let the Merc outs continue. Know what you see. Buddy, you have no idea. Here, all right, sodium. All right, let's head back to the starship. Let's try to get things fixed. Also, scan every animal. That just said Artemis is gone. <laughs> so basically, we're going through exactly what Artemis went through. Okay. But in my save, Artemis lives, so he's not gone. Okay, let's craft up as much as we can. Fix the starship. Actually, let's hop in. Oh, this is an ugly ship. Okay. Okay, so we can be begin repairing some things here. All right. Done. Okay, so for this, we can use the repair kit. Kind of don't want to use that. Let me take a really quick look. What's the crafting recipe, if we know it? Hermetic seal. Okay, condensed carbon. We'll craft one of those. And we need a metal plating. All right. Save the repair kit. Do not use it if at all possible. All right. Starship is fixed. Okay, let's take a really quick look. Let's move this with the other weapon. Shield's fine. Pulse engine does not need to be supercharged. Let's move this. Let's supercharge the shields. Pulse engine, yeah. Okay, looks good to me. Let's move some of this crap to the ship. Actually, you know what? Let's also take some time and refine some of the materials that we have. Ah, uh, fuel. That's carbon and... Yep, we'll take that. That makes silver. 
Starship. Yeah, let's see. Here we go. Aronium. Perfect. So we're finding all this stuff. What is this? Dirty bronze. Even more silver. I will take it. Uh, what else? Anything else? Okay, I think that's it. Yep. And what else do we need to do? Let's uh, try to move this crap to the starship. And ship. This we will install. Teleport receiver. Nice. Ship. Ship. And this we'll refine. Put the oxygen over here. Yeah, we're going to have to go to another planet for carbon. This planet sucks for carbon. It does. All right. Let's craft some more ammo. All right. So I think we're sitting pretty good. We're not going anywhere yet. We're not done yet. We have this abandoned building in front of us. You are the anomaly. I know that. Okay. Let's grab as many of these eggs as we can possibly get. Ouch. Man, them dudes are pissed. We're going to need these nanites, so... Okay, we got all those. Yeah, I think it's just the three or so left on the other side of the building. All right, easy enough. Too easy. Ouch. Got it. I think that's all of them. Let's take a really quick look. Ah, there's one left. There it is. All right, we got it. Let's get back to the ship. Nice. Okay, let's refine those, like, right now. Ooh, this is going to be some decent nanites. 600 nanites to start. I will take that. Hold it. Very nice. Exosuits. Uh, we don't need these for crafting or anything else. Let's just refine them. And in fact, any abandoned building that I come across, I will refine all the larval cores. Okay, perfect. Uh, can we craft another one of these? We are, okay. And we're going to hold on to this one because once we leave the atmosphere, it'll refill that, uh, that protection. All right, let's go. We are out of here. And let's get out of first person because that just kind of sucks. There we go. I swear, this ship is ugly. This ship is not ugly, it's oogly. <laughs> 
Okay, now one thing that I have a tendency to forget to do. Absolutely love the music in this game. And we're going to farm up a min uh, as many materials as we can get from that asteroid field. There it is. Milestone. No way to run. I have a tendency to forget to collect my milestones, so let's do that right now. Okay, prepackaged cloaking device, powerful scanning system upgrade, supreme movement system. Yes, please. Okay, let's plug all that stuff in right now. Scanner. And movement. There we go. Okay, got it, got it, left the planet. And we murked out all of those uh, boundary horrors. Give me that. So now we know how to make the next recipe, the blood. This is where the Mordite, Pugnium, and Gold are going to come in clutch. Gold we can get here uh, from the asteroid belt. Not a problem. In fact, let's head over there and start. And like I mentioned, our anomaly suppressor is 100% because we left the atmosphere. So, perfect. Uh, we need to craft. We don't have the materials for that, so we can't craft it yet. All right. We do need the tritium. God, this is an ugly ship, but it's okay. take a few seconds to mine up some of this uh, because we're going to need just about everything we can get from this asteroid field. Then we'll head to the space station and sell some stuff. Something else I can do. Do I have a supercharged slot on the starship? I do. It's the shields. Let's uh, move the photon cannon here. <laughs> Temporarily. And this rock is apparently indestructible. Okay, that makes sense to me. There we go, much better. So we're going to mine up as much of this, and then we'll head to the station. Some good tritium hyperclusters. I don't want to have to worry about things like uh, pulse engine fuel. Now, there are no hyperdrives in this expedition, so the only way to travel between star systems is through the portal system, and that's done by design. Basically, I think what Hello Games went for with this expedition was to give us the Artemis experience to literally see what Artemis went through when he got lost in the portal system. When the boundaries broke down, literally broke down in front of him, and when he got stuck. I think that is freaking awesome. Okay, so how are we doing? 810... Got an anomaly detector. We don't really need that so we can sell it. Just trying to get as much gold and silver for free as I possibly can before I have to buy it. Okay. I think we have enough. 74 gold. Break those down. How much silver do we have? 
We've got a thousand silver, so we should have plenty of silver. And the platinum we can probably sell. I don't think we're going to need it. Break that down too. All right. Nice. Okay, next, before we do anything else. Okay, we got it, got it, got it. We have to prepare the elixir of blood, so we got to get crafting material for that. Uh, here we've got elixir of glass times two. Prepackaged launched it. Yep, give me that. We need that auto charger. Supreme pulse engine upgrade times two. For this ugly freaking starship. <laughs> this starship is ugly. I'm sorry. This thing's horrendous. Okay. And let's see. There we go. Pulse engine. Put the shields back. Okay, let's get to the station. So you guys sound off down in the comments. Let me know whether or not uh, you enjoyed the expedition because I know many of you have already completed it. Uh, phase one is, is a ton of fun. You know, it's giving us more of the of the lore experience for the Artemis story quest, if nothing else. And now we understand exactly, uh, we're understanding exactly what Artemis went through uh, when he got stuck in the portal system. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. Let me pause for a second. What do we have here? Flourishing. We need to go to that planet. We need to go to that planet and get as much carbon as we possibly can. So we'll definitely hit up that planet on the way out. What other planets do we have in this star system, by the way? Only two planets. Okay. Yeah, that's where we came from. You know what? We forgot to get cadmium. Totally forgot to get cadmium. Okay. No big deal. We can go back to that planet or... Yeah, we could just go to the other one. No big deal. Uh, but we need cadmium badly for the chromatic metal. And of course, once we sell this salvage data, uh, we could probably just buy all the copper we need. Space station, let's go. as I fly into the station. Good job. Let me in. There we go. <laughs> you got that cool rock music for the ugliest starship in the system. I can't wait to sell this ship. Okay. All right, so what do we got? Yeah, we have like no money, so we need to sell. Uh, hold it, before we sell anything, let's recharge. Uh, charge that. The red eye will never see us. They're talking about the atlas. The crimson eye as they call it. Okay. Uh, sell. You can sell that. Uh, this we need, obviously. Starship. Uh, let's sell the anomaly detectors. We don't need those. Uh, we will sell... I'm going to hate myself for this, but let's sell the Platinum. I don't think I'm going to need it. Keep the repair kit. Uh, keep the navigation data. And let's sell all of the salvage data. We don't need this. Okay. And we want to buy... I'm going to buy the wiring loom at another station. That's ridiculously expensive. Oh, they got salt. 
tritium, paraffinium. We don't need metal platium. Metal platium. Excuse me. Metal plating. Uh, we do need that hydro hydrogen jelly. The dihydrogen jelly. Let's grab all of that. We'll take all that. Uh, okay. Nice. So let's see if this guy's got some good stuff on him. Okay, what do you got, buddy? I'm jealous because his ship looks better than mine. So he's got cobalt, ferrite dust, and silver. Ionized cobalt, paraffinium. Uh, I think we're sitting pretty for silver right now. So let's grab his ferrite dust. We'll buy that. Anybody else? Okay, so what do we need to craft this thing? The blood. So we need pugnium and mordite. So I think we go, we'll go to the flourishing planet and uh, murk out some animals and get some mordite so we can craft this thing. And the pugnium we can get from beating up on sentinels. Let's see if this guy's got pugnium on him. He may have some. Uh, hydraulic wiring we don't need. I will buy the copper. Yes. Uh, we will buy his pure ferrites. And like I said, I think we're sitting good for silver. We'll buy the ferrite dust too. That way I don't have to keep mining for it. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's take a really quick look before we leave. Uh, where is the multi-tool dude? Oh, he's over here. Just out of curiosity, what do we got? I mean, it's a B-class, but okay. Here we go. Talk to the multi-tool vendor. The Viking with the really bad shave. Okay, what does he have for upgrades? We want to buy... So he's, got a, he's got a pulse spitter. 646. That's what we need. That's what we need. Son of a blankety blank. Okay, we may end up coming back here. We may come back. All right, let's talk to this dude really quick before we leave. Here we go. The boundaries are failing. All right, what do you got, buddy? Show me some... Ooh, Pugnium. There we go. Give me that. I'll take all the Pugnium. So that we need. That's one other ingredient. He's got ionized Cobalt. I think we're sitting good for Cobalt. Phosphorus, um, I don't think we're going to need. Carbon nanotubes, dirty bronze, magnetized ferrite. And we will buy his ferrite dust. All right. Perfect. We got some Pugnium. Okay, we're missing Mordite. Did we talk to this guy already? Uh, we'll buy that copper. And that's pretty much it from him. Ooh, that's a nice ship. It's a heavy viper. Nice. We see you. Stop looking at me, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, get the copper. And actually, the copper is cheap. It's minus 3%. Okay, I'll take that. In fact, let's begin refining all the copper. Okay, that dude took off. Alright, nice. Okay. Let's hit up that flourishing planet. We need a crap ton, and I'm talking a crap ton of carbon before we can wrap this up. And we'll grab some cadmium while we're there. Let's head for a landmass, not the water.
And unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to murk out some innocent animals. But you know what? Sean Murray's making me do it. It's all Sean Murray's fault. <laughs> so it's his fault. Uh, what do we got here? This could be another... It's another abandoned building, is it? Looks like it. Let's land. No, it's not an abandoned building. Dang it. It's an observatory. It's okay. Coldest temperature. Ah. Uh, Oh, Predator. Perfect. We can murk that dude out and not care about it. Now, of course, you can just... Um, there's a Gek dude. There we go. A Proto Gek. You can feed the animals and, you know, they'll poop, but I don't really have time for that. How much Pugnium did we get? 299. We could use more Pugnium. Where'd that stupid predator go? Oh, there he is. And I know the Sentinels are going to get major butt hurt when I do this, but... There we go. Shut up. Get wrecked. There we go. 15 more dice. Is that enough? It is. All right. So we got to drink the elixir. Now, another way to get uh, Pugnium, of course, is to murk out the uh, Sentinels. Which we will probably do. Yeah, I'm not going to kill the Gex. But uh, let's take this opportunity and get as much carbon as we can. This is exactly what I needed. Some nice, big, fat trees. Get out of here. This is what I needed. Now, if we can make it to the uh, Space Anomaly, I should try to get an optical drill. There we go. Now we're getting some carbon. That's what I'm talking about. You will not find us in the water. Buddy, I'm not going to the water. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. I know, I know. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, shut up. Get wrecked. That's right, and I'll take your feline liver, buddy. That's dinner tonight. Get out of here. So how are we doing for carbon? Now we're getting some freaking carbon. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Before we drink that, let's keep uh let's get some more materials. We need as much carbon as we can get. Up, oh, sentinels are being sentinels, you're next, buddy. All right. Recharge. Where did I'm sitting on that? Hi there. 
Get wrecked. Yeah, we're going to farm up some of these Sentinels. And that's because we can sell their upgrades. Uh, get rid of the Living Slime. We're not going to refine that. Okay. Get rid of this dude. Where's the other healer? There he is. Goodbye. There we go. And actually the safest way to do this is from right here, because we can actually shoot outside. And I'm doing this so that I can farm some Sentinel resources. There we go. Now we're making some money. And like I said, if you're worried about your shields, you can simply stand in the doorway and shoot out. The Sentinel drones will not shoot in. Just out of curiosity, how much glass? We got six glass. Okay, all right. <laughs> Jeez, dude's right here. Alright, so at this point... Get rid of the summoner. Dude just pushed me out of the way. What is that all about? This is the easiest way to farm Sentinel's early game. Just stand inside of a building. Bro, get out of here. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Salvage glass. Nice. Ouch. Okay, so at this point, let's just hide, and these guys will search for us, I think. I said I think. <laughs> okay. Now they're searching.
And we can hide inside this observatory. Let's grab the free stuff. Right. Nice. Okay, so once those guys chill out, uh, we'll proceed. It's a nice way to get some early game nanites and some upgrades. Sentinel forces deactivated. Okay, so feline liver, we can use that for food. Uh, we've got some pretty decent salvage glass. All right. That is totally not what I wanted to do, but okay. That will point us towards a sentinel pillar. Yep, we're not going to do that. <laughs> so we got two weapon shards. We can sell those. And we got hazard protection. Let's plug that in for an exosuit upgrade. Ooh, this is a good one. That's a good one. Nice. Put that right there. Very good. Wish I could have found another one. So what do we get? We got this. Uh, this, we can put that in ship. These, we're going to sell. Uh, we're not using the bolt caster weapon. Uh, once we get the um, pulse spitter, we're going to uh, disassemble the uh, bolt caster. But these, we can sell. Nice. Some mango gold. All right, Starship. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Let's get rid of the meaty chunks. Okay, how are we for carbon? I want to get a little more carbon before we head out of here. Because we're just about ready. Okay, and in general, I like to try to have at least a thousand of each uh, resource before uh, proceeding, but in this case, no big deal. Okay, we have what we need. All right. Consume. So now we have the elixir of quicksilver. Okay, we have everything we need to prepare that. Nice. Ouch. There it is. Okay, because we're going to need a lot of chromatic metal, let's see if we can find... Knowledge stone, let's see. Damage machinery, there we go. That's berry technology. There we go, cadmium, 570. All right. Jeez, I gotta walk around that freaking mountain? Is there anything closer? <laughs> I don't feel like that. We're gonna have to walk anyway. Cobalt, uh, we don't need. That's over a kilometer away. Paraffinium, we don't need. All right, so I guess we got to walk around the stupid mountain. Okay, so after a quick save, our target is on top of that freaking rock over there. So let's just head over there. And also, this additional walking will allow us to complete another milestone. We have to run or walk 8,000 units for a later milestone, so this will help us achieve that. All right, let's knock this out.
And that's where we got to go. Now, we could probably tunnel through that, but you know what? I think it'll be easier for us to just uh, fly over top of this mountain. All right, let's go. Drink with us. Absolutely not. You know, anybody here get the idea that uh, Sean Murray is trying to get us drunk? Let's give it a second to recharge. Let's go. All right, I think we made it. Okay, let's snag this cadmium deposit and uh, move on to the next phase. All right, where is it at? Please be a big one. It's not. There's literally nothing here. There's probably like one piece of cadmium. Yeah, there was nothing here. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. All right. Let's grab the dihydrogen. That is pathetic. Okay, let's look around. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, check that out. Seriously? Navigation data? Let's grab it. Sentinel, I will murk you out. And, wow, that's lucky. Check that out. All right. Ouch. There's a crap ton of oxygen over here. Let's go. Hey, let's grab it. We're going to be sitting fat for the life support for quite some time. We won't need to use any life support gel. Let's grab all this oxygen. And we'll go back over and mooch off of that uh, navigation data. Well, this is a lucky find. We shouldn't need any more oxygen for the remainder of this playthrough. That it. That's it. Give me all the stuff, and if nothing else, I can sell this. All right. Man, get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Recharge. Okay. So when you're mining resources like this, always go with the smallest reticle. It'll give you the most resource. Now, if you're in a hurry, you can use the larger resource, or the, yard, the larger reticle, that is. But you won't get as much of the resource. And because we're going to need a crap ton of... <coughs> excuse me. Cadmium and chromatic metal. Let's use the smallest reticle and get as much of the resource as we can. Okay. That should be pretty good, I think. Hold it. Missed a spot. I'll take that. Okay. 
Now, how are we for... Yeah, we got plenty of oxygen. Let's get some more carbon because we're going to blow through carbon relatively quickly. Let's break that down. All right. We need more Mordite. All right. Okay, let's get as much carbon as we can. All right. Now let's see. Okay, we should be okay for carbon now. Uh... We can get ferrite dust along the way. All right. Next thing we need to do, let's go to our milestones. Okay. Okay, collect the reward. The Elixir of Quicksilver recipe. All right. Up. Uh, Oh, no fuel available? Okay, no big deal. Yeah, I just did that. Hold on a minute. Man, get wrecked. Get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> Sentinels always get butt hurt. Get wrecked. All right, we'll take that. Okay. Call up the ship. This is still the ugliest ship I've ever seen. All right. That'll give us some protection, not much. Okay, let's craft some more of this uh, material. Let's move that to ship. Ship. Let's refine that. And let's see here. We need to craft elixir of glass. Because we were all out. Actually, let's uh, take that right now. And before we leave... Take this multi tool, recharge that, get rid of the excess, and let's see, ship, break that down. We'll take that dihydrogen, yes, please. Go. Dirty bronze to silver. Yes, please. Okay, put that in ship. And let's see. We'll find that cadmium. Okay, and everything else we can sell. All right, nice. Okay. Yeah, let's mark it. We need to reveal a portal. For this, we have to use the Elixir of Quicksilver. All right. So we should be able to make it by now. Uh, let's see. Elixir of Quicksilver. There we go. Yep, yeah, we got everything we need. Let's make one. We only need to make one. Consume. There it is. Okay, collect the reward, prepackaged pulse spitter. Yes, we need that. Uh, prepackaged combat scope, inventory slots times three. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll do one up here. Upgrade, we'll put the rest down here. Okay.
There we go. Let's plug this in right now. Combat scope. We'll put that there. And pulse spitter. We'll put this here. Nice. Pulse spitter is an overall better weapon, by the way, so that's why I wanted to get that upgrade at the space station. Okay. Okay, breach the portal network. Okay, next we need to make the elixir of blood. Do we have? Yes, we do. And again, we only need one. Okay. Okay, we know what you seek. The boundary calls you. Okay, let's recharge our protection. There we go. Simply by leaving the atmosphere. Now, I may stay on this planet a bit longer to murk out some more animals just because they seem to be hostile. And that gives me all the reason that I need to buck these animals down without feeling bad about it. Okay, let's go to the portal. And this is actually the final milestone for phase one. And I think what we'll do is sit tight here for a bit in between phases one and two, and get some more Mordite from killing the animals and take it from there. Another cave, nice. There we go. I swear, this starship is oogly. Okay, we're on the wrong side of it, apparently. All right, boundary wall. The portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to process it fully. I must focus. I wonder, is this portal a doorway or a seal, a passage or a cage? The elixir of blood opened a way to communicate across the boundary. Will it be the key here too? Let's find out. Offer the blood. I dab some of the elixir across the plinth. The stone seems to shiver in response before a voice calls out, resonating from deep within the rock. I followed them. I had to. You have to. We all would. That's why we... That's why we here? Who spelled that? That's why we... That's what it says. That's why we here. Okay. After all, to discover, to see, to explore. Bad grammar. And now it is too late. We will see you soon. Forgive me. That's probably Artemis. Open the gateway. We know what you seek, Anomaly. There we go. Totally not a Stargate, by the way. All right, enter the portal. The boundary awaits you. Here we go. All right. As we enter a new reality, let's do it. Okay, reinitialize. Yes, please. This is pretty spooky, by the way. It's pretty eerie. You have to reinitialize every time you go through a portal. Just like the beginning of the game. Initialization sequence complete. 
Okay. Smallest planet. See you again. And there it is. Beyond the boundary, reach the portal network. And ladies and gents, phase one is complete. This was ridiculously fun. This was fun. I absolutely love this. Okay, phase one is complete. Get wrecked. Okay, let's grab some free stuff if we can before... There we go. Okay. Nice. And my ship is right here. Actually, what resources are on this planet? Ooh, we got ancient bones. Nice. So this is needed for phase two. So we're going to stay here for a while and uh, grab some ancient bones. Okay. But well, let's hop in and hop out and make a restore point. All right. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, guys, hold it. Before we do, we need to claim our rewards. Okay, let's claim it. Portal Glyph Set. Okay, nice. We get the entire Portal Glyph Set because there's no using hyperdrives to transition between star systems, so we have to use the portals. All right, Advanced Habitation Module Plans, Base Computer. Let's grab it. There we go. All right, and we're not done. Let's get the phase one reward. Boundary anomaly poster plans, portal breach poster plans, glyph poster plans. I want all of it. Okay. And with that being said, guys, that's phase one of the Cursed Expedition. So, of course, we'll continue again with Phase 2. And I look forward to seeing you guys he back here for Phase 2. But until then, uh, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, a.k.a. The Odd One. And if you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a few likes while you're here, and hey, don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.